I'm Paul Garner with Carolina Countdown, and your countdown starts now. Do you like fun? Well, so do I. Let's go. We're going to discover new places, try new things, and eat some great food along the way. So pull up a chair and get comfortable. You're watching Carolina Countdown. All right, Carolina Countdown. We are here with Gordon Vanderpool, awesome guy. We're doing a little fly fishing today. Gordon, let's start by just talking about the prep and, and what it takes before we even hit the water. Yeah, sure, no problem. As you see here, I just rigged this rod up and I tied two flies on it. And we tied a strike indicator, which is this little guy right here. That right there is your bite detection. So that tells you when you're getting bit by a trout subsurface. And we have two flies, and this is called fishing a tandem nymph rig. And we're fishing it under a strike indicator, as I said. And it's pretty basic. I'm gonna keep it close. He's gonna be fishing probably 10 feet from the fish. I try to make it very easy on somebody that's new into the game. So there's really nothing more to it than that. We just get out there and fire, to, fire away and see what happens. Let's take a go. Yeah, Here we go. go. All right, you ready? Here we go. And a way to cast it, just let it rest off to your left side, just like that. Like this? Yeah, just hold him right up here. Higher up? No, that's fine. Oh, yep. okay. Just make sure you got one finger. Hold it right there, firm wrist. Use your thumb as an aimer, and just point it right over there. That's good. Now lift up, and stay right with it. If it goes under, set the hook. Don't drag it, just stay right with it. Wait on it. Oh, come back this there way. There you go. Okay, now just do this from that position. Just drag it up, bend it at the elbow. And just point him right back in there. And we're fishing really close. Okay, lift your slack up. There you go, get him. There you got him, you got one. That's good. Good job. There we go. Nice. Now just hold him. Now just bend your arm and lift him right up to the surface. Got it. Check it out. Here we are with Gordon. Here I am. Got a fish. We've caught three today so far. It's been a great time with Gordon. Been an awesome guide, awesome teacher, very patient. Highly recommend him and in, in your business. And we'll catch up with him in a minute so we can give you some more detail on how to get with Gordon. Here we go. Awesome. You want to release him? Yeah. I'm just gonna go ahead and grab him and send him in. Well done, Paul. All right, Gordon, thank you so much for taking me out today. We're wrapping it up. We caught three fish, beautiful fish, beautiful day, beautiful location. Yeah. Uh, we want to touch a little bit about uh, what you do, turning stones, fly fishing, guided trips. Why don't you just step us through it? Give us all the details. Sure. Yeah, just in a nutshell, I'm a Wade Fly Fishing Guide Service here in Franklin, North Carolina. I do half and full day trips. Okay. Half days are roughly four to five hours. That's okay. for somebody that just wants to get out and get a taste. Uh, and that'll be morning, afternoon, either one. And then we do full day, which is about an eight-hour trip wow. for the guys that might be a little bit more diehard and want to hit it pretty good. So uh, we do that. We fish backcountry locations, Nantahala here, kind of go all over, about an hour radius from Franklin. All right, tell us your history. How long have you been fly fishing? I've been fly fishing since I was a teenager and been doing it nonstop for the last 10, 12 years, something like that. What got you to that point? What was it about fly fishing that you said, you know what, I want to do this and do it forever you as know, a it was, job? It was weird. Like as a kid, I was a bass fishing junkie, you know, with spinning rod. And I did that. I wanted to be a professional bass fisherman. And one day me and my buddy were out smallmouth bass fishing using spinning rods. And he's like, man, I got a fly rod in the truck. Can't do anything with this thing. I'm going to go get it. Let's try it. So he gets it. This is my first fly, fly fishing experience ever. We was probably 16. He grabs it out, hand it to me, and it had a little popper on it. It floats. And I just did what I thought they were doing on TV. I threw it out in the current and about a nine inch largemouth bass on my first cast. Wow. So that is what got me going right there. That's awesome. I was like, it ain't hard. Ah, it's know? easy. <laughs> Speaking of easy, Gordon has made it extremely easy for me. My first time ever with a real attempt at fly fishing. I would highly recommend Gordon and, and his business. 
and we'll put the websites up at the end of the episode. Check it out, give them a call, and again, thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome, glad to do it. Thank you. Here we are with Paul Bork. Paul is another local, just expert fly fisher. How long have you been fishing, Paul? Paul, I've been fishing probably since I was 16, fly fishing. Um, honestly, I don't remember a time in my life that I didn't fish, though. Uh, but as far as fly fishing, I started here in Macon County when I was about 16 years old. All right, and we understand that you've got some Team USA fishing. Tell us about that. Right, so two years ago, I made the U.S. fly fishing team um, based through a series of qualifiers. I actually qualified in Bend, Oregon. Um, so I get to compete for our country. One of 10 guys in the whole country, they get to compete for the United States at World Championships. Wow. I also get to coach the U.S. youth team. So I get to oversee the training for the best anglers between 12 and 18 years old in the whole country. And you said a lot of that happens right here in Macon County? Correct. Right here near Franklin in Macon County, we have, we've ran two national championships. And this water here in our hometown is producing more top-level anglers at both the national stage and a world stage than I would say anywhere else in the country. That is so cool. Paul, thank you so much for coming out with us today, and we hope to see you soon. Good job catching fish. Thanks. We have had a great day fly fishing with Paul and Gordon, learning a lot, learning that it's something that everybody could do. So go get a rod, get a guide, get with Gordon, and get outside and enjoy the beautiful area that we call home, and we'll see you next time. Your what? Oh, your neck? I thought you said your neck. I was like... Grab my neck. I thought we were doing like a <laughs> beginner's like safety walking. Grab my neck real fast and squeeze as hard as you can. <laughs> <laughs> you could have saw his face. He's like, "What do you mean, grab your neck?" <laughs> <laughs> Banjo time. <laughs>